The kill the Justice League game keeps proving why it's one of the biggest fumbles. Not even fumbles, bro. This game's a fucking travesty. A crime against humanity, even. Look, I promise you guys, bro, this will be the last time I bring this up. Probably. Maybe. They'll probably do more stupid shit like this in the future, and I'll probably have to make another vid when they add Squirrel Girl in as a fucking paid DLC. But with Season 1 dropping, I didn't really think the game could get any worse. More content is always good, even if it's shit, right? Bro, this Season 1 update is fucking garbage it's fucking garbage but before i even explain where we're at we gotta look at how we got here quick recap of how this game got to be where it's at suicide squad was coming from rocksteady studio the same company that made the famous batman arkham game series these games are regarded as some of the best superhero games ever created these games literally paved the way for superhero games today games like spider-man would look so different if arkham never existed so when rocksteady games announced this game people were foaming at the mouth dog they dropped a trailer that made suicide squad look like a single player cinematic type story game there was already a lot of hype since it was being made by Rocksteady, but when they announced this shit was in the Arkham universe, the same universe as the Arkham Batman games, and the Batman in this game is literally the same Arkham Batman, you might as well have told people Jesus was coming back. People were ready to give it all up for this game, bro. Shit, me included, I'm not gonna lie. Arkham Batman, bro, that's Twizzy, bro, that's my twin. But then, the gameplay trailer dropped. That shit was so ass i'm thinking it's gonna be a story game and the skill trees are gonna be crazy with everyone's unique abilities no hell no it was a fucking looter shooter bro shoot the purple pimples that's it actually that's all you do the backlash was so bad they had to be like oh shit we said we were about to drop that ah we were just playing we were just playing they had to cancel and delay their whole release bro but that wasn't enough to save the game a year in the gulag wasn't nearly enough time to change what this game already was there's no way out of this one you're done. The game had finally dropped, and they had promised to add more enemy variety, fix issues and boring gameplay, new content would drop for free in future seasons, and let me tell you, dog, that shit was booty butchy. The game was so fucking short, I beat it in one day, bro. One! I was playing with a friend too, bro. And no, we didn't just rush to beat every single boss without doing side stuff to shorten our time. But after a few side missions, there was no fucking reason to even do them. You could literally just go straight from boss to boss. Maybe a side mission in between, but sometimes not even. And the bosses weren't hard enough for me to go do side missions and level my shit up anyway. I beat them all first try. That shit took like maybe seven hours, bro. I don't know, maybe less for real. And this really begs the question. Y'all took a year break because of the backlash to work on this game and fix it up, but y'all were about to drop it before that? What the fuck did this game look like before we bullied y'all into taking it back and supposedly fixing it? It's low-key scary to think how much even worse this game was gonna be, and they were still gonna charge over 70 bucks for it. But here's where it gets ridiculous. The boss fights in the game, arguably the whole point of the game and its story. That shit was so ass. I'm not even just saying that to be a hater, bro. These boss fights suck donkey dick. These were genuinely some of the worst boss fights I've ever had the displeasure of partaking in. There are really no interesting or good mechanics. You just shoot them a million times until they drop dead. That's it. And then there's no execution screen, no final blow, no villain falling to his knees in pain. No, bro. They just fall. Only one that got a respectable ending was Green Lantern, with Deadshot getting a decent little one-liner before executing him. Funny, because that was also the best boss fight by far, but that's really not saying much at all. The Batman boss fight was beyond buns, bro. What? I thought there was going to be more phases than that, I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was kinda ass, bro. What the fuck? And the Superman boss fight really wasn't much better. But nothing could have prepared me for how ass the final Brainiac boss fight was gonna be. He's the reason for the whole story. He's a very powerful character. So I'm thinking the boss fight has gotta be the best one. Bro turns into the fucking Flash, and you basically have to redo the first boss fight of the game. Injustice 2, Brainiac. Oh. My name's Vril Docks. What the fuck? I'm the fastest man alive. I didn't realize it was that literal. <laughs> and that brings us to today. The season one update that brings in the Joker as a new character. With tons of new story content and new missions, right? Fucking wrong! The game just resets you back to zero, then you redo all the exact same missions you have been doing since the base game. You grind up to like level 35, I believe, then you go unlock the Joker. That's it. There's no story missions, no real interactions or adjustment time with your team and the Joker joining it fucking nothing there's only two new cutscenes for the character bro that's it now the joker character has some pretty good movement 
whoop de doo They all have pretty good movement, bro. Does that really make the content in the game better? Also, can we please just take a minute to acknowledge the fact this motherfucker look goofy as shit. What was the point of the Joker dying in the Arkham series? Y'all just gonna undermine the whole thing by bringing this goofball in. Motherfucker, this the jonkler. Bro's the tickler. But as if this wasn't bad enough, since it's a new season, there's a new Brainiac boss fight. Surely this time they had the sense to give bro his own original moveset. Surely they didn't make him a copy and paste reskin boss fight of a Justice League member that we already fought right fuck off bro they're literally going in chronological order they aren't even trying dog you're literally just replaying the game over again bro i can't do this they really couldn't give bro any original moves brainiac is strong as hell bro give that man his own move we can't even pretend like this shit's gonna get better they already showed that they're reskinning the superman boss fight for the next brainiac boss fight i'm fucking done all the people that were coping bro talking about just wait for season one you're gonna be so good that shit is a, a two-pack of ass even the friend i played with he always liked the game more than i did he really really wanted to give it a chance to succeed bro is pissed off right now he feels played he feels like he wasted a hundred dollars and you know what I can't really blame him because that's exactly what he did. I've literally had dick writers of this game stitch me on TikTok and they'll be like, bro, stop with the negative bait. Don't let this guy tell you how to spend your money. Motherfucker, I don't tell anyone how to spend their money, but I'm not going to sit here and praise a game that can't even do the bare minimum. I didn't like the game. I can have a negative opinion on it without rage baiting. If you like the game, cool. I don't fucking know how, but good for you. But me personally, the fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got today, y'all. If you're playing this game, Godspeed. Thanks for the support. I love you guys. Follow me on all platforms at Tony Sino. Peace. We've been steady miles, yeah. yeah. Running rust, we mob, yeah. In a whip, we mob, yeah. Money straight, good pies, yeah. Talking shit, gon' cost, yeah.